Nine years ago, I was approached by a number of Balabatim who wanted to take their learning more seriously. We got up early in the morning, we started the Masechta, and we wanted to know the Masechta, not just to tick the box, having learned something in the morning, but to really come out knowing it. We first have the Shir, and then we have learning afterwards. So the Shir gives them the ideas, the concepts, but at the end of the day, they've got to be kind of it themselves. He uses the word the I arranged a Chabura, which took place in Nefesh Atayra. It starts with a shear for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, everyone does four times Chazara. In the end of the day, they come away knowing that Masechta through and through, remembering every daf. And then the end of the week, Friday, Shabbos, you've got to do Chazara of the week. So that by the end of the week, you have to know that material for the week. Until the Masechta becomes their best friend. And to have Talmud Biyodai. That's really what we want them to have. It should be Kona in their hand. Lieutenant's Olo, which is a requirement. It's not really a stereo, you can have both reasons. It's not enough to tick a box and say, we've done, we've done our piece, we've learned for today. We want people to grow in Torah. And anybody can do that, anybody can do it. You've just got to be dedicated to learning and knowing it and going over it. Then you feel sipuk in your learning. I've been involved with Kinyin Masechta for about seven years. Anybody who hears about it and learns for any period of time will immediately see the advantages. Baruch Hashem, even our Nagid Shir, Alex Jaffe from one of the other Chaburahs, he was somebody who was in my Chaburah originally and now he's gone on to impact others and share what he gained so much um, and giving that chizuk and enthusiasm to others. Because you hazard the Gemara so many times, it becomes part of you, it's the way you default think, thinking through each Ahmed because that's part of who you are. I'm beginning to understand the question and answer of a Gemara much better than I ever had in it previously. The more times I go over it, even I come to the sixth, seventh time, there's always a new aspect. The main chinuch of the child is when they see that the parents are taking it more seriously. It impacts the whole family, it impacts everything. The father's a different father because he's learning seriously. And the way to connect is to make that kinyan. When you're connected to it, you've been kind of the learning, you're a different person. As far as I'm concerned, it's probably revolutionized the way I learn. You could be a professional that's busy. Yom Avalayla, you've still got to show that this is Choshev. I think the key advantages for the Kenyan Masechta program for me is I would sum up in one word, Talmudai biyodai. We'll get to Adam Haba and we'll know that we can come with our Masechtas with us. There's no reason why it shouldn't grow to be a very, very important part of all learning throughout the whole of the UK. It's gone from strength to strength and now we get over 50 boys every Tuesday and Thursday evening. They should be buzzing with that feeling of learning the rest of their lives. We have an excellent Magid Shia. He's a very approachable person. He's also a person who keeps us on our toes and to get up at this uh, unearthly time. It makes me get up for sure. I'm always in shul early because you've done the share beforehand. There's a tremendous geschmack when you come to davening and you've had about an hour of learning under your belt. You're already wide awake for davening and you feel good because the mind is clearest in the morning. doing is he's moving the animal and the girl round to that side. It's not a very long shear, but we cover you know a decent amount of ground where we're able to actually do Chazora and, and I guess the most significant thing is that, that we're able to actually do Chazora. It would just be so amazing if more people knew about this, had the opportunity to do it. It's something which you know every from Yid wants to know is learning and so many from Yidin, they, uh, you leave Yeshiva, you learn, you lose a little bit of inspiration because it's so hard to hold on to what you learn. But this is a way to really hold it. And if people were aware of it, they'd just be running to it. I'd love to see people when you're shopping in Hadar or when you're in Kosher Kingdom and you, you know, bump into your friend in the street, you know, where you're up to, what's the sugya. You can just talk in learning straight away because everybody is understanding and knows what the sugyas are in the various Masechtas that Kinyin and is learning. At the end of the year, the Chagiga Chabura together did a trip to Eretz Yisrael where we went round visiting the Gedoli Yisrael, asking them to give a Haskama to the program and to test us on the Masechta that we just learned. We have our Bahar of program where the boys have to learn every single daf and have to know it from beginning to end. And these guys, you can ask them from anywhere and, and they know the Omer, they know the daf. We've seen great things from these boys. Torah is the best fuel for anybody. The most important way it's affected my learning is teaching the importance of Chavrusas. Someone uh, would just give a quote from any, any place in Megillah. 
then I'll be able just to continue the conversation from there and to move on. The Receivers programme was very helpful and made us feel like three and a half hours of straight learning it gave us a feeling of what Yeshiva life is going to be like, really see how the whole sector links together. And During the Receivers I managed to do about 10 duff in the three or four hours that we had. It really gives you a, a feeling of being part of something bigger than yourself. It allows you to be able to do Chazor over the whole Masechta, but everything you've done so far. And rather than just doing bits here and there on Shabbos and so on, you can really go through the entire thing in one go without any breaks, interruptions. All over the from world, everyone will tell you that Talmud Torah is connected to Kolom. It's obvious. And, and we all want our kids to be learning, but we need to have the Balabatim setting the example for their kids. So the more the Kehillah would understand that this is a program that, that sets that in place. So if Balabatim could be learning, and, and sharing their learning and their kids seeing them learning and knowing, knowing that they're holding on to their learning. What great inspiration could there be for, for the whole Kahila? I think the UK can support the Kingdom Masechta program by just embracing it. Let's build the UK by giving them a chiyas for their learning. Having the respect from your wife when you're going out to learn, coming back uh, happy and feeling accomplished in what you've learnt. Um, the, the children seeing you go out and learn and achieving. So I did the Shastan for my fourth time this year and it was only this year that I managed to really go through the Gemara and know it perfectly because I'm doing Kinyin Masech. It's something everyone should be doing. It's something I can't miss. It's a life changer. I've never got a Gemara clear in my life before like this. I've never enjoyed coming to learn before but now I come because I want to. You can get people who, even if they go through a whole Masechta, if they do it once, so you've met the Masechta. You haven't got a Kesha Nafshi, you haven't got a personal connection with the Masechta. There's nothing like becoming a Balabos of Masechta. No, you go through a Masechta, Masechta goes through you. It's a different story. Azara becomes addictive. I could never ever sit down to learn a Gemara for more than half an hour, and now I'm pushing myself to learn three hours, I could do it easily. I know many Bokhrim were just aspiring to go for 101 times. I want to go to it, I want to know the Gemara, I love the Gemara. I've done about 30 to Khazars and Peragala from Makas. Yeah, you look forward to coming to Shir, you come for yourself. My goal for this Masakta from Makas is to do the whole Makas 101 times. Probably the only time I felt where I've known the whole Perik or Masakta from Vaharna. The more times you do it, the more you enjoy it. And once you start, you, uh, you even want to carry on after the Seder. You can plow through the Gemara, it's like a whole new Gishmat. The Gemara's got to be clear. Once you have a Gemara clear, now let's come back and do Chazorah. We had a Bacha who made a Siyam 17th time on Masech Sukkah. This was a Bacha who never dreamt that he had those Kirchas within him. Now I've done Chazorah and Masech Sukkah about 17 times and literally I can feel the whole Sukkah going through me. So hopefully my goal is to come out with the whole Masech 101 times and know it completely, solidly. Time is secondary. I need to get from the beginning to the end of the Sechta with many multiple Chazars. In America there's countless stories of where it's just changed the whole fabric of the family. Before I started the Harim, no, I didn't, I didn't realise I could finish two Masechtas and know them properly. By asking Yeshiva, the Bochum's Gemaras are always with him and when they take a weekend from Thursday to Sunday, Thursday, Monday, the Gemaras go back with them. This is my Masechta. If it's crystal clear, then you don't mind in Chazara. When people have joined these Chaburas, Everything in the family has changed, from Shabbos to davening. We get together on Thursday, we have the Kiddush, and during the Kiddush we make Kabbalahs with a daf of Gemara over the week, and then we make Kabbalahs to do that daf, maybe do it twice over Shabbos. Doing a Gemara less than five times isn't even considered learning it once, and after that it's considered the Chazar. Try to do the Sech Sukkah, the whole 56 daf, all in one day. I only managed 46. The next day I managed to finish the other 10 daf. Baruch Hashem, we have a Hashkoma minion, and they call it the Siyum minion. Every two to three weeks, there's a Siyum on a Masechta. It's got to become more widespread. I think it's something that should be publicized. The massive debt of Akaras Atayv, I have four Kenyan Masechta for totally enhancing my life. My learning's improved, my life's improved. To be able to understand a Masechta is a beautiful thing. Oh,